gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today, we've been contacted by a customer, actually they contacted us yesterday afternoon after work, uh, wanting to get a burnt combine out of the field and loaded onto a uh, RGN trailer before the rain moves in this morning. So we're getting an early start. Hopefully we can beat the rain, get in and get out. Uh, uh, just the front end of the combine is burnt. Most of the tires are still up on it, but it is out in a hard to access area. Uh, nobody was injured, so we just got a lot of work ahead of us. Here we go. Okay, so we are here. Go take a look and see what we got. get our stuff out in here that's for sure we brought extra lengths of cable thankfully it's not that far off the roadway I thought it was further in than it looks like a farm access road there see what we got message the driver of the RGN tell him we're here This could be interesting. What we've got to worry about, guys, is we've got to get to where the wheels spin freely. Well, this we're not one's going to be a challenge. Huh? So this one's going to be a challenge. Yes. It's all going to be a challenge. Do you feel how soft this ground is? Look at the top of it's still wet. Yeah. Do what? Fire department come out here or something? I don't know. I, I really don't. So... Do we know if it's stuck in drive or anything? These things are all hydraulic drive. If the hydraulics aren't working, no the wheels are locked up. So we can't put it in neutral or anything? There's ways around it, but you've got... <sighs> Just put it this way, it's not easy. All right, Ethan, I think, let's see if we can get off this road here, or off this little farm road. Yep. If we can get off that farm road and get the back end of this thing swung around, if we start pulling from the front end, we're just gonna plow. Mm -hmm. If we can get the- Fire extinguisher melted. Yeah. Let's go see if we can, what this, or well, if you wanna look there, whatever, I'm, I'm gonna look 
up here because this is too soft. I don't want to get our truck in here. I'm sinking with just my feet. But there's an access road here. Hopefully it'll be a little more solid. We've got enough extra cable length. Looks like maybe dropping. If we can work off this access road. Traffic control will make it out here. Yeah, traffic control's fine, but it ain't gonna pull that combine. Sure it will. No, but we need to put tires on it like the ones I've got. Burr. Well, it's not that chilly, it's just uh, the wind. This is good and solid right here. So we're going to bring the trucks over here, we're going to start pulling it to here. I really don't like being out on that road. If we can get it to here, well, we'll wait till the RGN driver gets here. Um, Where's he at? I just texted him. He said he's about 10 minutes out. I texted him when we left, told him that, you know, we were leaving the shop and it was about an hour and five minutes, hour and 10, something like that. So what are we taking it after? We, get it we got it loaded onto his trailer okay. and we have to take the tires and wheels off. Otherwise he's too, too wide and he doesn't have the uh well he doesn't have the outriggers that he needs he's got the little swing outs okay. and he doesn't have the type that he really needs to be able to haul this also it would be too tall if i understood him correctly last night so we got to pull the tires and wheels this is this is going to be a project yeah i was this, just laughing because i realized something funny what it's a john deere uh-huh yeah, you're, yeah. Yeah, this is good hard pack here. I mean, I wouldn't have any problem getting the rotator off here as long as it doesn't bottom out. Bottom out. I thought it was usually the classes that catch on fire. Huh? I said I thought it was usually the classes that catch on fire. I, well, with that one doesn't look like an engine bay fire, though. That one looks like it started in the header. I could be wrong, but I, the engine bay's fine. Well, so much. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a problem getting in here. This is, this is fine with the rotator here. I guess that's where you went, was here. Probably, and we've got plenty of pulling power with the rotator. Uh, do what? No, let's wait on the RGN driver to get here. Uh, let's get get with him to get a game plan. Now, unfortunately, that ground is very, very soft. You can see the cloudy, overcast skies. We got rain moving in. We got to try to get this whole thing out of the field and somewhere where we can load it on an RGN trailer before the rain moves in and then take the tires and wheels off of it. May sound simple, but this is gonna take a little while. We'll get it. Go ahead, keep going. to go straight for the front of it. Whoa, slow down, slow down, slow down. All right, keep going. Just don't go so fast, otherwise it'll want a bird's nest on you. Keep it going. Keep it going. Almost, almost finished. You're on the last layer. Just 
stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold right there. put that on there a long time ago the little flashing light helps but that retro reflected arrow gives them just a little something extra that's a good idea i'm sure you've seen some pretty close calls oh we've had some close calls Do we need the big Yankum? Extra length, or we got enough? Okay, let's get it hooked up. Rain's moving in. Well, I'm afraid we're gonna get wet before this is all said and done. We still gotta take tires and wheels off. brought my rain gear I want to grab so that it comes underneath it, I want to lift this so that it's not plowing so let's see you can go right around here on each side and go under. You may have to take a little bit of a uh, shovel, shovel under it. Can I just throw it over? Huh? Can I just throw it over? You got to go under this. We got to lift the whole uh, thing up. I want uh, this lifted up so we're not plowing it. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Well, I was going to do two chains. I wanted to go under it. Right. I want to try to get under it so that we lift that head. Okay. He's going back to get a shovel. We may have to actually lift it up a little bit first. I don't know. I swung this over thinking we were going to be ready so it just rolls around. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Because that's how you transport them. Yep. Them I like that. We might have been able to get it under there and lift it up first and then block it. And then slide them through. Huh? And then slide the chains through? Yeah. This shit hole underneath there is just pull it over. You don't think it would? Yeah, there's a couple of spade shovels and a. Uh... Oh, shoot. Yeah, right now, here, I'm going to try something. Just hang tight for a second. All right. Yes. I, I may need a couple of blocks. All right, Gavin. I know this isn't exactly what I wanted, but it might bring it up some. Oh, okay. 
but it, it kind of went under it anyway on the outside corner let me see what happens here okay I don't like the way that one is we'll have to reposition it once this gets lifted up a little bit but we will need a block Here, Gavin, let's see if this will do like that other one. If it'll wedge under there. If it'll get under that corner. It might. If we can get it up and then put a block under it, we can redo that rear. And then we can get it to where it's gonna pull up. Then yep. Towards the middle. Yep. All we just hope gonna do is just gonna hold the whole thing up. <laughs> All right, stand back again. Ethan, I need a block over here or something. I hope. Hopefully it lifts this up. Well, it's not working that way anyway. Huh? It's rolling, that's good. That's what we wanted. May not be steering exactly where we wanted, but it's a rolling. Yeah, I know. That's why I wanted it. Uh, we're gonna have to get closer though to get that head up. That's that's about all we're gonna get right now until we get closer with the machine because this tire's flat. Yeah. I don't like the way that one's hooked in, but it's working. We're moving, let's keep moving. Yeah. Well, you probably will. You'll probably get to use the star to tow it. We're gonna have to tow it to the uh, closest place to load it. Getting it, getting it out of the field is only step one, or step two, whatever. Getting it to roll freely was step one. <laughs> we're good. As long as it keeps moving toward the truck, we're all right. What's supposed to lock in? Oh, yeah. Well, what we really need to do is whenever we get it up here, we're gonna have to get this and a solid point up top and chain and boomer it so it stays up off the ground. There is a lock. There is? Underneath there, when you get it caught okay. up, you drop the lock. Okay, gotcha. I don't know what side it's on, but it's under there somewhere. We'll get it close enough we can get her lifted up. If not, we'll use one of those final drives and shaft. Pick on the cylinder. There's always a way. Oh, yeah. When it comes to these things, there's not a whole lot that I haven't just cut off or thrown in way to junk or left it here. 
Oh yeah, I know. We've moved them out of a field too. We had to wait until a really hard freeze to get it out though. I picked one up over this over in Kentucky from Illinois. And it ran and moved. And it was rear ended by a semi. Oh. So the rear end was all broken down. Yeah. And we told them we wanted a rotator and they just brought it to the straight line. So we ended up just starting the combine and driving it on the trailer. We started with the trailer. And then we had to hire, it took me three days. Then we had to hire a tire guy to come out and take the duels off the combine. But he couldn't hold it on the trailer because he didn't want to leave his clock. And I didn't have enough. So then we had to call a lumber yard to deliver some uh, 12 two, or 6 by 6s to right. clock the combine and get it all down. Then they had to go back in two hours. The tire shop had to go two hours back to get a different jack because it was going to be too tall. It was a bigger one than this. It was a pain. Well, pain. I ended up just leaving all the tires and the, everything out in the field. I'm like, I told Ken, I'm like, I can't haul that. I'm like, I should have brought the triple, but I would have brought that for you. Because I was already down in Nashville. I told him that. Well, Ken said he was going to start calling us for stuff in this area. Yeah. The reason he called you is because he's been watching you on YouTube. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. I, didn't, I mean, I've seen you guys load the Lexon combine. It was all burnt for nothing. I seen that on YouTube the other day, but I never even put two and two together until he said that last night. Yeah, that was that was a pain in the butt. That that one had tracks on the front. Man. That's what my brother farms with is a big black on. Yeah. He goes they call him out west to Idaho where he ends up Pocatello. He conducts the coast of wheat harvest. And I've all done things since I was twenty years old. And I'm thirty five now. He's had four of them burned that we've had to do this to. When they start on fire in a wheat field, it burns 100 acres. Oh, yeah. Because we just dissed and 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 dissed and
one way or the other, it's got to be turned toward the road. I was really hoping that it would uh, turn before now. hydraulic lines loose on them cylinders so the oil will come out yeah i think we're gonna have to there's a lock right there on this side so if we take the back ones loose they yep. let all that oil out yeah or air in there all right guys get my wrench packs my wrenches okay that's fine just get my wrenches I'm listening, I'm just, I'm focused on something else right now. You guys get the traffic control over here with my tools, please. Now, I'm not going to lift until Gavin's out of the way. Come on, baby. my chain holding it? Surely not. I wouldn't think so. Maybe we can take it off and just hook up here on the front. Yep, that's what side. I have to put that back on and lift it up to the bottom. Alright. It's not lifting like we want it to. Nope, we don't know why yet. Hold on, we're gonna have to put that block under there so that we can get that side loose. Put that block under there, just anywhere. There you go. Nope, turn it long ways so it doesn't cut. You're going with the grain, you wanna go against the grain. Turn the block, turn the block this way. Oh. Otherwise, when it comes down, it'll split it with the grain. Now you understand? Well, the block's, up. the block's keeping it. We can just go right around that spindle and we'll latch it back into itself. All right. Try this again. There we go. Must have been what it was. That's what we wanted. Ah, right, don't get under there, Gavin. It's just like. Keep going. 
There you go. Now it's locked. Now it won't go in any further. Now we've got something we can grab a hold of with a uh, chain hook. All right. Take that loose for now. Out of the, we're gonna have to reposition the truck. All right, how you doing over there, buddy? what we did on the other side get as much out of it as you can that way they're pulling together yep oh yeah we need a different finder I'll go grab one yep I don't want to trust that nope Is what happened, bud? All right, you guys finish that up. I'm gonna get the truck and move forward. That's just pretty slick. It is. It is really slick. signal for oh yeah we're out in the all right everybody clear i don't have my spades dug in i've just got the outriggers planted so let's see if she spins we may have to hook it to this high or this other side Instead of that far side, huh? Yeah. Let's get this. Let's get this rehug. Let's get this on this other side. Uh, well, we've been up since four o'clock, or I have. I don't know what time you got up, but I got up four. Yeah, but don't pull on the cylinder. Go around the, uh, here. You can go over the top right here and then come underneath. There you go, just like that. Now, just drop straight. Whoa, 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 Gavin, whoa, buddy. Yeah? You don't have to go over that little bitty rod. Well, I can't see, that's, I was just trying to. Oh, come up here from the front. Here, just right down. Right, right down through there, buddy. There you go, right through there. Drop the hook down and just make a loop. Just get us a loop. Short, long, does not matter at this point. Let's just get her done. That old farmer told me the combine caught on fire back to where my semi was at. I heard that. And he drove it up here so he didn't want to burn that trailer house. And it started back there at the back of the combine, almost the back tire on this side. The wind was blowing so bad it blew it up here in the cab. Wow. It's hey guys. Then hooked the header back up there so the header and I never got damaged. And that's the neighbor's field and they worried about it burning it. Yeah. Well, I may have to spread my outriggers and get a better. It's going to pop off the bead. Well, I'm not worried about it top popping off the bead. 
As long as it doesn't roll the combine. It ain't going to roll it. What? Gavin, your mic is up. It's okay. No, it's like... All right, Ethan. Are the the wheel rear wheels staying straight? That's what we want. Woo! That wind. Actually, I can lift from this side. It'd be all right. Right now, if I can get it, just. Yep. That's it, that's all I got. Well, with that flat tire and the other tires digging in the ground, that's helping keep it stable. It's all right, it's okay. I ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right, I'm gonna pre-spool the cable, Ethan. Watch yourself. All right, hold on to the rope, please, while I pull forward some more. I'm... That's a good question. I'm not sure yet, Gavin. First, let's get it up here on this hard pack. with it now if he gets authorization to get us down on that uh, old grain bin we'll be in good shape pulling against the turret that way. Yep. No, I just let this down. Run the, get the chain loose. Ah. Give me more, more, more. Wow, that wind. Give me some more, Ethan. Nope, out of the way, bud. All right, whoa. Nope, go down. 
dump it right in there, bud. Just like before. There you go. Now. Go ahead. Hook it in. But I want it pulling against this so that it pulls the machine sideways as it pulls forward at the same time. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted. Right there. up there and hook both sides and just yep. pull it straight up yep no no no, no. that that that's exactly what i was thinking so we're, no we're good we're good no i hey i appreciate an informed opinion uh, you deal with these things every day i don't doing pull. Yeah. Yep. Well, we might 
even be able to do just one part of it. Yep. Less rigging the better. I just needed to straighten it out so it didn't fall off on that dip with that flat tire. Gotcha. Nobody wouldn't want to roll it over and break it. No. <laughs> Don't want to damage the thing. <laughs> can you, do you think if you, if we shorten the chains enough, you can pick the whole thing up? Right where you're at? Oh yeah, I, I can pick the whole thing up. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, we're going to, uh, we've got these chain lifts like this, and we'll tie the chains probably to the axles and run them out to this, this header, and it will lift off this header. That way our uh, lift point is all the way out here. We can lift, that truck lifts a lot higher, so we'll use that truck to actually move it with. This has got more winching power, but that one's got, uh, the underreach goes a lot higher but we can get a really good vantage point from out here. Yeah. We'll do it basically like we've got it there except running it under the center. Right. I don't want to be stuck down here. I'll probably have to work off the side to get it up on the road part of the way, but we'll be all right. But you need to be turned around and headed back the other way before I get on the road. You understand? Right now, you stay right where you're at. No, just just keep your uh, emergencies on. You're not pushing traffic anywhere right now because we're getting ready to block everything. <laughs> yep, hold on. We'll, we'll discuss that when we get to it. Let Ethan get turned around and let me get back up on the road. <laughs> Save that, that might be worth some money now. I'm pretty sure there's one at the yard. lift axle was up so I I don't have quite the ground clearance coming out that lift axle would be down so it'll help spin it. help well it'll help spin it and it'll help lift that outrigger off the ground out of the field. <laughs> That's a good thing. I like, I like it better than having to drag it through the field that way. me because I need to come out where you're I need you past me because I need to come out where you're at and then I'm gonna have to come in and do a side pull to get it part of the way up on the road and then we'll have to spin it you keep on going
and then stop because I'm whoa stop 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 now I need your eyes coming out of here so I don't drop this thing off I think I'll be all right especially with the outriggers down or the left axle down I mean and yes I may run off on the other side but okay stand clear all right going into motion all right clear watch yourself coming out I'm coming out hot I'm out that's what matters back on the road on the road again Off. All right, let's go. We may we may have to pull that one side like we did before. Put that one side up here so that it keeps pulling the machine this way. Otherwise, we're gonna otherwise we're gonna run right down here and risk rolling the machine. I don't want to do that. Right side. That's fine. That's why they needed it out of the field so they could go ahead and get the field work. All right. Yo. Yep. That's that way it pulls it this way just a little bit. All right. Cuz look at the direction it's headed, Gavin. It's headed down this, if we keep pulling forward, it's gonna go on this slope. We don't want that. I wanna pull it away from that slope. It is in free school. I'm going forward. Everybody clear? Well, they didn't waste any time getting uh, going on disc in that field, did they? be good I think We've got to stop this thing. Huh? Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I know. That's why we tried to get it out of the field first. Come on, girl. Climb, baby, climb. I think we're gonna have to be more forward. I really like it. Yeah, it'll be all right. Huh? It's starting to work. Yeah. Yeah. Closer it gets, the more it'll come up my way. Yep. Oh yeah, she's walking up there. Slow my winch down. Headed on the high speed retreat. Huh? We like high speed. Yeah. I steer it. Do you know what? I can steer it. All right, now, Ethan. When we get, when I get it up here closer, you're gonna have to grab the front end and spin it sideways, and I'm gonna have to grab the back end until you can grab a hold of the front and do a, a chain lift. want to get it all the way on the pavement so that we don't uh, do a free roll but I don't want it to go backwards either all right Gavin I've got a good stop here put a put a block behind one of the tires and I'll let off on it and make sure it doesn't roll back tell me when you're clear Clear. All right, letting off. Nope. Get in. Get in. Okay. Okay. Now leave that chain there. We'll use it to pivot the machine around. sideways just without me spinning it because if you can oh now hold on hold on we need to stick stay with the uh, block Gavin Come around here, bud. In case something goes foul. Yep. Actually, we need two chains or two blocks here. I'm gonna get one, and Gavin's gonna get one. Don't go any further yet. That's all right. Let it let her slide like that. Wait a minute, Gavin. Yep, I'm gonna slide the back in. All right, Ethan, just hold what you got. 
We'll have to be pretty. The front end will need to be that way for you to. Your your underreach needs to be right here. Yes, Gavin. Three eighths, five sixteenths does not matter. Let's just get get a chain back here. Okay, then we're clear. I think you've got too much of a uh, grab on it. Back on the other side. Uh, leave that like that is until he gets it out. Yeah, here. yeah. All we need to do is get it to where he can get with the wheel lift. I'm just going to follow it so it doesn't. Hold, Ethan. Okay, go ahead and roll. Whenever you feel comfortable with your uh, lift, you go for it. Wouldn't get too much, you're gonna be. Yeah. All right. All right, Gavin. Block us off front and rear, and uh, we'll get all this rigging packed up.